So we're going to clean my dog's teeth here today. And here you can see this has got a lot of tartar. It's broken there. So I will be using this pick right here. And I can also use this side. So I like to leave one side covered in case the dog flinches. I'm not poking his eyeball out. So typically I put my legs over the dog's leg. My dog's a bit bigger. I can also lift up his leg. And then I can put his leg here so I'm not pressing down on him. I'm going to keep his paws back. And then I'm going to push his head forward. Typically the top has got more buildup and the dog's going to try to pull away. So a lot of times if you're inside, I like to push his head up against the edge of the cupboards. And that way I can control him better. So I'm going to start at the top of the gum and pull back. I'm going to be more sensitive. Stay. And you got to be really careful because the dogs want to bite and move their teeth. And so you're not poking the this consistently into his gum. And you're, you're going to see some blood, but he hasn't been poked hard. It's just sensitive. I do it about every three to six months, and this has probably been about six months. If I can't get my hand in his mouth here to do this, what works nice as well, especially if you can get somebody else, is if you can get a bone in here, and then you're gonna push this bone back, and then you can get in here and, and clean. So you're gonna be doing some pressing. So instead of biting on you, my daughter here is holding the bone, and then because she's holding the bone here, I can get in here and get these teeth right here and get these cleaned out, and then he won't be able to bite me. You can push his head back here, and then I just need to watch his lower jaw. Um, if we're doing the top, we can actually just push his head back here, and now he's trapped up against, and I don't have to worry about him opening or closing his mouth, and he can't move his head forward or back, and so I'm using leverage here. So, and then I can get in here and clean this top layer of teeth. And it does work nice if your dog is a bit more subdued. Well, a lot of dogs won't let you pick at their teeth. And again, we're trying not to hurt him. So here I bumped into his gum a little bit. And their gums are highly sensitive. I mean, I'm not doing this regularly enough. So, so if you are bumping the gums, I mean, they, they'll typically bleed. It's not really torturing the dog. No different than when you go to the dentist. You know, occasionally, or if you floss your teeth, you'll, you'll get some blood there. So I'm not taking this and trying to jab it into his gums. So we're trying to keep any poking to a minimal. So we're just going to do the same technique. I'm going to have my daughter hold this bone into his mouth. So by doing this, it's going to allow me to get in here. Typically, the bottom teeth aren't as dirty, and they're just going to need a quick scraping. And you can see these ones aren't all black and I haven't done anything with these. You know, it might not look awesome for the dog, but it's more important to make sure that we're keeping our dog's teeth clean here. And so that's a quick cleaning. It took me like 20 minutes or less. Brooke, you can pull that out. 